All right, so we got the crazy ceiling painted with this uh, Eminence paint. I guess you pronounce it Eminence from uh, Sherwin Williams. Good stuff. Uh, it's just a white flat paint, and uh, I got this crazy. It's still wet, so it's gonna look all funny. But uh, it's got this vaulted ceiling. I guess you call it here. It's uh, yeah, it's a pain in the ass to paint, but. Uh, looking pretty good wasn't sure how I was going to get these corners well, or these seams here so what I ended up doing was uh, I took the the big roller and I put it in the seam like this from the top down and I dragged it just didn't roll it I dragged it down the seam you know and along the seams in the ceiling you know this way and uh, then I filled it in and painted around it and then when I was done I just went from one side to the other briefly and kind of rolled it in and blended it together you know, so it, uh, it turned out pretty decent and I let it dry and uh, yeah it looks pretty messy I'm gonna paint the walls too but when I trim this off I'd like to bring the white paint down the wall a little bit really get it into that crack so when I cut the uh, walls in along the side I I know I've got my paint for my ceiling all the way in there and I won't have three different colors you know there'll be the the wall color and then there'll be this the ceiling color and there won't be that little line a funny line in the middle there so also I've gotten fed up for paying for smaller rollers that I guess that's like a three inch roller uh, I've gotten fed up paying for these uh, individually what I actually do is cut one of these uh, regular length rollers I don't even know how long they are um, I just cut them into thirds uh, and I just hold this uh, tool up against it and make a mark and then uh, take it to the other side and make a mark so you know I make a mark here and then there and then cut the thing out with the saw and then the uh, the center piece actually works out okay too I tend to use the center section it's a little uneven but it doesn't really matter but I use that for priming and then the outside edges you know like this outside edge I keep it over you know over on this side and then the cut side I leave on this side and uh, it makes it a lot cheaper I don't exactly know how much but it's definitely cheaper so you can cut your own you know instead of having, they, they always want to sell you packages they always want to sell you a package like with a tray in it and then they want to sell you like a cheap brush and a bunch of crap in this big packet I don't want that uh, my biggest problem is finding paint trays to fit the, um, the uh, baskets that you paint out of here these, these, well, these are paint trays, yeah, not a basket uh, it, this is a Lowe's paint tray and uh, these uh, throwaway liners are from Lowe's but they don't fit <laughs> that uh, what I tend to do is buy a, a tray and then I'll buy a bunch of um, the liners in bulk you know like 25 30 of them but I go through them and then you go back to buy them again and they're gone they don't sell them anymore uh, Walmart is famous for this I have one or two of their paint trays and I go back to get the um, liners and that for, for months I can't find them so now well, I've just ended up just slapping the, the liner in there anyways and just going with it it doesn't really fit but you know, what am I gonna do with them if I don't use them so we're we're doing pretty good we'll get these walls tomorrow and uh, that's gonna take over two gallons my wife bought two and a quarter gallons. I'd rather she bought three gallons. This is just a pretty big room. And uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't want to come up short. So. Well, the ceiling was not as big of a pain in the ass as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I got my paint into my lines here. And then uh, I could blend it all together. So, anyways, how exciting. <laughs>